Hi all, welcome to the best of cat skills by IMS. I am Parmeshwar over here and today we look at a question on functions. So kindly solve the sum before you resume the video. So in today's sum it is given that f be a function such that f of m into n is equals to f of m into f of n for every positive integers m and n. Then they have told you further that f of 1 f of 2 and f of 3 basically happens to be a positive integer with the condition that f of 1 must be less than f of 2 and f of 24 basically happens to be equals to a 54 over here. So the objective is to find out how much is f of 18. Now before you start solving this particular question, let's see can I say something about f of 1, f of 2 and so on. So what can I say if I put m equals to 1, n equals to 1, what will I get? If I use this function, I will get nothing but f of 1 into 1 happens to be a f of 1 equals to f of 1 into f of 1 becomes a f of 1 whole square. Now this particular thing can give you two possible case where your f of 1 can be equals to a 0 or f of 1 basically can be equals to a 1. But as they have told that f of 1, f of 2, f of 3 are positive integers, I can simply rule out this particular case and can say that f of 1 is definitely going to be equals to a 1. What next? I am given the value of let's say f of 24 to be equals to a 54. Now what I can do is if I use the same property f of 24 can I write this particular thing as f of 12 into 2 and then because f of m into n happens to be nothing but f of m into f of n this particular part becomes f of 12 into f of 2. The same way if you look at now that this particular thing can be further split as f of 6 into 2 will become equals to a f of 6 into f of 2 into f of 2. Then if you notice the number 6 I can split possibly as nothing but f of 2 into 3 which will be equals to a f2 into f3. So what do I get? I get nothing but f3 into f2 into f2 into f2 which basically become nothing but f2 whole cube into f of 3 and this particular part must be equals to a 54 over here. Now please note that both f2 and f3 happens to be nothing but a positive integer. So what I want to do is I want to write the number basically 54 in the form of some positive integer whole cube into another positive integer because we have f2 whole cube into f of 3. Now there can be two possible ways. So one can say over here that this particular part can be equals to a 1 whole cube into 54 or this particular part can be equals to a 3 cube into a 2 because remember 54 happened to be nothing but a 27 times of 2 or 3 cube into 2 or I could have told nothing but 1 cube into 54. But understand if I take this particular scenario in that particular case my value of f2 happens to be a 1. So now we know f of 1 basically to be equals to 1 and if f2 also becomes equals to 1 it simply means f1 f2 are equal that will simply mean that it violates the condition f1 less than f2. So we are going to rule out this particular case and we can now safely say that my term f of 2 should be equals to a 3 and the term f of 3 must be equals to a 2. As you can notice in this particular case the number 24 actually become nothing but 2 cube into 3 power 1. So it must be equal to a f2 whole cube into f of 3. Now what they want is they want the value for f of 18. So if I ask you f of 18, what does 18 basically mean? Nothing but equals to a 3 square into 2. So this particular part will become nothing but f3 whole square into f of 2. And then I will simply put the value of f of 3 and f of 2. As I know f of 2 happens to be 3, f of 3 happens to be a 2. This particular part becomes nothing but 2 square into 3 giving us a number 12. And that's what my answer will be for this particular sum f of 18 will be equals to nothing but 12 as my answer. Now if you have understood the concept over here, kindly solve the replica question and put your answer in the comment section. Happy learning.